Hi there. For those of you that don't know, I'm Gazbot, and you might not know it to look at me, but I've already completed 100 days of making comics. 100 days in a row! But this is round two, where the stakes are even higher. Ha! So I'm glad you can join me for this round two with my special mood lighting. It seems vaguely appropriate since the first day of my first round, I had bizarre Venetian blinds on me. I'm not doing this on purpose, but my father is staying in town from the East Coast, New Jersey, which is where I'm from. I currently live in California, the Bay Area. None of that's important, just explaining why I'm doing it in this weird location in my bedroom with bizarre lighting. Now, what is 100 Days of Making Comics? Most of you watching this will probably know, but for those that don't, 100 Days of Making Comics is a, a spin-off of a 100-day challenge, which could be done with yoga, learning a language, etc. Yet, a year, two years, two more than two years ago, I guess at this point, our founder, Kevin Cross, creator of such things as Monkey Mod and Friends Show, said, hey, I don't want to do yoga, I want to do comics. And so he did 100 days in a row, working at least a half hour on his personal comic book project, the aforementioned Monkey Mod and Friends show. Now, many have taken suit and followed him, and many have modified it to their own ways. Some do weekly updates, some do daily, some do blogs, some do videos, some do this, some do that. But the idea in its purest form, and how I try to uh, ascribe to it, and how I did it my first 100 days, is at least a half hour a day on your own personal comic book project and make a video of it and post it every day. That is the idea. Now, if something happens along the way, hopefully you pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep going, but that is generally what it is, and that is how I am approaching it. If I get sick, if I get busy, doesn't matter. I still have to do my 100 days. I still have to do the 30 minutes that day, at least. At least, hopefully doing more, but at least 30 days. And this is me doing it at the worst time I could possibly do it. Uh, July is my busy month. I just got done from a trip down south to LA, which is about a six hour drive without traffic or stops for me. Got back, my dad is in town for two weeks. When he leaves, I'm going to Chicago for Godzilla Fest to table. When I get back, I'm going to San Diego Comic-Con for vacation. When I get back, I have another Godzilla event here locally. So that is my July. And today is July 6th, 7th, it's the beginning of July. Hmm. And so I'm starting why? Am I waiting for saying, why did you start this now? I actually tried to start it a few days ago, messed up, starting over. Starting over! Why? Why now? Because now is when I need it. When I have all the time in the world and nothing's going on, then I'll probably get to it. But I hadn't been heavily working on issue two. Issue two of what? Oh, my personal project. The Horror A4. This is issue one. It's done. You could buy it from Etsy or Indie Planet or anywhere. There are links below. I even have it in some local comic shops. I did a whole video about that. But this is the past. We're looking at the future. Issue one's over. Where's issue two? Well, I've been telling people three or four months. I don't want to be a liar. Uh, it's an ambitious promise, and I haven't promised. I said I'm hoping in about three or four months. I haven't said definitely, because I'm not that foolish. But... If I'm going to have it done even close to three or four months, I gotta get working on it. This, it's a five issue limited series. It's a kaiju book, which means like a big Godzilla type monster. First issue is done. It was kickstarted. Lovely. I got a lot of support. I've had nothing but positive feedback coming in for it. It makes me very happy. It makes me very motivated to work in issue two, which is written. All five issues are written. And here's where we're at it's written, scripted, and everything. It's not like an outline. Uh, all of the major character designs are done, all of the major locations are designed, some of that ahead of time, some of it because I did issue one. Now, of course, there are going to be things that pop up along the way that I'll have to figure out, but overall, what I'm getting at is, this one should be much quicker than the last one. Okay, now what might slow me down? Well, life, of course, which is why I'm trying to do this and, and kickstart it and make it happen regardless of what's happening with life, because I'm starting to feel like a bit of a fraud. It's been a few months since I finished my last book, did the Kickstarter, and now I'm like, you know, I feel like productive because I'm getting it into shops and I'm selling a few on Etsy and talking about it, but I haven't really been working on issue two. So I'm starting to feel like a bit of a fraud. And what I mean by that is what partially motivated me to do the first issue is I'd be going to shows, selling prints, doing commissions, and, and never had a book of my own put out. I've worked on books, but I never finished one. So, and this is no judgment on anyone else. This is how I look at myself, and this is how I judge myself and motivate myself. Uh, and so I felt like a fraud, like, like perpetuating the idea that I'm a comic book artist, having only done a handful of comics for other people that no one's seen, never really worked on my own, and so I did issue one, and until issue one was done, I, I felt like, oh, I'm faking it. Got issue one done, felt great. But now it's been long enough, a few months, that I'm like, well, where's issue two? Am I going to be the guy that puts out the first issue of a series and never finishes it? Am I going to be the guy that takes a year to do the second issue? I don't want to be that person. It's making me feel like a fraud again. Call myself a comic book artist. Say I do my comic, The Horror Rate 4. Only one issue. It's been a few months. Haven't even really gotten heavy going on issue two. Got to do it. 
that's where we are. <laughs> anyway, this is sort of a self rant, as you can tell. So where we are going into it, again, I have the script done. The last couple days uh, when I attempted to get started, I did do some thumbnails. I did tiny thumbnails on this kind of paper because I was at a hotel. I did the first six pages. It's going to be supposedly a 25 page book. My first one was uh, 24 pages. It'll be five issues total. So it'll be in the neighborhood of 125 pages, although I suspect it'll be a bit longer. Now, I finished page seven. Then I ran out of hotel paper and I had this booklet that I had created to emulate what a book is like because one of the things I learned first time around doing the thumbnails and the layouts, I didn't really figure this out until I got really late into the process that sometimes along the scene, art doesn't work, seem, art doesn't work out. It doesn't match up right or it's too repetitive or whatever. So I wanted to work looking at it as a whole from the very beginning. So that's why I did this. Uh, it's a little bit larger, so it took me a little longer and I have page eight and nine done and I'll just not that it looks like anything but I'll go ahead and throw those up here so those are the thumbnails I did today I spent about 45 minutes ish uh, partially doing those thumbnails and partially editing the script because what I've been finding I'm not changing the story I'm not even rewriting dialogue but the breakdowns I did I was this is a problem I struggled with early on and I still struggle with now but I've gotten better as I've gone along unfortunately I wrote these scripts a while ago so some of the problems that I've since realized and either solved or worked on persist in these earlier parts of the story uh, and one of that is, again, not so much a writing thing as a layout thing, where I have nine panels per page, ten panels per page, way too much dialogue per panel, things like that. So rather than try to squeeze it all in or cut it, which is what I did with the first issue a lot, I cut some things out, I squeezed some things in, I made it work. I am just letting it go. And if I have it down as a page and it takes a page and a half when I'm doing thumbnails, that's fine. I'm going with that. It was supposed to be 25 pages. I'm on page 10 of the thumbnails. I'm already at 27 pages. I've already added two pages. That's not good because I want to keep it to a certain length for cost, also for time of getting this thing done. And also, is it necessary to have that many pages? I'm not sure. I don't want to cut corners. I want to make the best product. And I'm not sure if that's expanding or cutting stuff out. But I'm not going to make that decision now. I'm going to do the entire issue in these little thumbnails, look at it, revise it, decide if I want to cut things, remove things, add things, then blow it up, keep going, and make revisions as I go as opposed to waiting until the end and doing it. You know, it, it, this sounds so obvious, but it's something that I didn't really think about the first time around, and I'm thinking about it now because I had thought, well, I wrote it, I'm done, don't have to think about writing, now I'm just on the art side, which is kind of true, except there's the collaborative part, which is normally between a writer and artist, but I'm both, so here I am collaborating with me. Okay. A few other things, uh, as I mentioned, I have my comic list on my Etsy store and also Indie Planet. Indie Planet is an arm of Kablam, which is a print on demand, which means you can get one issue, ten issues, you don't have to get a thousand issues. It costs more per issue, but you can print a few so there's less risk. I printed through there. Uh, you don't have to print through there, I don't think, to get listed on Indie Planet, Indie Planet but I did. Uh, and it just went up recently, although I put it into list two or three weeks ago. So if you're looking at Indie Planet, keep in mind it's going to take a few weeks. That's just a little thing for if you're ready to list your thing. Um, I'm going to cut this one short. For those of you that watched my previous videos, uh, the, the hard production updates, things like that, there's going to there's a lot more editing, a lot more, here's crazy stuff I did today. There will be less of that in these, although there will be some. Uh, but for today, I'm going to cut it short uh, because I'm trying to focus on getting a little bit of work done at a time when I don't have time to do that, which I don't. And so now I have to put this together and throw it up. So come along on the journey with me. This is day one of 100 Days of Making Comics. And that means we've got 99 more days. Um, so where we're at is, mm -hmm. so where, let's just.